Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNP route video practice exam and lab for you today on BGP Next Top Addresses. We're going to be hitting that question in about 20 seconds and then as always we're going to verify the answers, maybe both right and wrong, and uh, catch a couple of extra details there on live Cisco routers as well. Just a quick note, my CCNP route study guide is now available on Amazon.com. Very happy about that. And it's ready to read on a Kindle, a PC, a Mac, a smartphone, and just about anything else you can come up with uh, via the Kindle app. Right now it's only $9.99 and it's got a new feature in it where I link to free YouTube videos from it as well. So when you're in, say, the BGP section of the book, it's got plenty of links to free videos out on my YouTube channel. So definitely worth checking out. Let's go ahead and hit today's question. You notice that some of your BGP routes have a next hop address of all zeros. It's not exactly something we see a lot with, say, anything else, right? RIP, EIGRP, OSPF. What does this mean? Does it mean A, the routes are active and can't be used at present? B, that your BGP database is corrupted? C, that the network was originated by the local router? D, the route was learned via an IBGP neighbor? E, the network was discovered via route redistribution? And as always, even if you think you know the answer, stick around for the lab because we've got some extra info there for you as well. Speaking of extra info, you might want to jot this down. Uh, routers 2 and 3, the ones we're going to use in today's lab, are connected via the 172.23.23.0/24 network. Uh, a BGP adjacency is already in place between the two routers over that network, of course. We're going to verify it before we start using the live equipment. And what we're looking at is Router 3 is advertising a loopback the all threes network slash 32 via BGP. And we're going to take a look at why the next top addressing there might be a little different or just something a little odd. Now, going back to the question, one answer that we can eliminate right away is the very first one. Routes are active and can't be used at present. That's more of an EIGRP thing, you know, when a route goes active and possibly stuck in active. So that's not it. So let's go ahead and hop out to the equipment here. And just a couple of quick reminders here, a quick reminder. Nothing wrong with show, using the show IP BGP neighbor command, of course, to verify your adjacencies, and I've done that, but you're going to get a lot of information here. And again, that's not always a bad thing. You can see that we're in remote AS100, that it's an internal link. Uh, lasty, the BGP state is established. We definitely want that. It's also going to tell you right here how long the adjacency has actually been up. But if you just want the uh, down and dirty info about your adjacency, you can just run show IP BGP sum. And actually, I had it right there. Show IP BGP sum, and it's going to give you that exact same information. You can see now that adjacency has been up for almost half an hour. So let's go ahead and run show IP BGP. And you can see that there is a next top address here of all zeros. And be careful when you're reading your BGP tables. That's a good T-shoot uh, description or a tip as well. Because what we have here are two entries for the exact same network, 172.23.23.0/24. And what's happening here, you'll notice that only one of them is marked as valid and best. That's the one that's actually going to be used. This other path is marked as valid, but it's not valid and best, so that's not the one that's going to be in use. Now notice the next stop address for that loopback. That's what we're going to concentrate on here. And it's 2323.3, which is what we would expect. So let's go over to router 3 and run show IP BGP. And over here you're going to have a couple of next hops of all zeros, one of them for the directly connected network and the other for the all threes network. And what this definitely points in the direction of and what the correct answer is, is that when you see the all zeros next hop address, that means that the network was originated by the local router. And that's why in this particular lab, when you look at router 3, for that loop back, you see a next hop of all zeros. But again, when we go back to router two, here's the entry for the loop back of all threes, and the next hop is 2323.3. Just want to show you that in a couple of verification commands as well. 
because we're not really used to seeing next top addresses of all zeros. It's easy to look at that and say, well, something's wrong. Uh, but it's not that something's wrong. It's that the network was originated by the local router. And that is it. Thanks for watching today's video. And we've got one of these, actually one of these video boot camps for the NP route three to five times a week. So make sure to drop by the YouTube channel and the website as well. I'm Chris Bryan, and thanks for making TBA part of your CCNP success story.